brother. Oh, full drive's not working. Oh, no good. You got recovery? Nah. You want to borrow this? Yeah. No, we won't need it. You can get them at soup cheap. Soup, they're real cheap. So long. Welcome back to the Beach Factory. Today we're taking the 40 Series for a run up the beach. We're on Noosa North Shore and we've got my mate Josh in his mint old 80 Series DX Barn Door Special. Nathan's in the cruiser and we're heading up to Rainbow. What do you, do you call it? Rainbow Beach or Noosa North Shore? Because I call it like, I still call it the rain, I call it Rainbow. Yeah, I, I call it Rainbow. Right yeah. on. So we're heading up to Rainbow Beach. We've got the boards in the back. Hopefully catch a wave and maybe a bit of a fish. Are you guys travelling up there in the 40 series, Al? Yeah, good mate, no problem at all. Got the aircon on, it's very nice. Yeah, perfect. Nathan, when was the last time you had that thing on the beach? Uh, probably in about 2009. Yeah, we could say this is maybe a bit of a special moment for you, eh? Yeah, mate, it, uh, it brings back a lot of memories. The grandfather and I used to rip up this beach and go fishing uh, all the time. Yeah, hell yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And did you pack some fishing rods or not? Yeah, mate, yep, I've got some special fishing rods so we can do a little bit of beach fishing and, uh, oh, there's a nice little gutter there, actually. We can do a bit of beach fishing and uh, probably uh, see what we can um, see what we can take home for dinner. Sounds good. Maybe we can run a bit of a competition who catches the biggest fish or who catches the smallest fish has to buy a carton of lemon squash out. No, Woody, it's not what you got, it's how you use it, mate. Depends on how you cook it. Doesn't matter if it's a big one. <laughs> I'm not doing any fishing. The only fishing I'm going to be doing is down into the esky for some lemon squash. So the stretch of beach we're on is called Noosa North Shore. It runs from basically Noosa Heads all the way up to Rainbow Beach, I suppose you'd call it. Uh, up on the Rainbow Beach side of DI there, there's a pocket which protects us from the south easterly winds, which is what's on today. And we're just going up there. We've got Esky with some lemon squash. We've got the gas cooker. Actually, do you bring like utensils? Do you bring a frying pan and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> we got the gas cooker, frying pan, got some snorkers, and we're going up the beach for a day, a day at work actually for us really. So sit back, enjoy some of the scenery. It's a beautiful part of the world. And just to show you guys, this is where we live. It's, it's bloody awesome. But it's approaching the leashy track which cuts over to the Rainbow Beach side. The tracks do get maintained quite regularly so they get graded and it's also been raining so the sand's really hard. We shouldn't have any trouble getting through but I think Nathan's still in two wheel drive too so I'm not 100% sure. Hey Nathan, did you put that thing into four wheel drive or are you still in two wheel drive? Uh, we're in two wheel drive. You've got to get underneath the car to put it in four wheel drive. Something like that. Can you guys be getting through the leashy track man? Yeah. If we have to get under the car, we will.
let's, let's go a bit further along so Woody's got further to walk. Yeah. Alright. Righto, so we're driving along the leisure track, leisure track between uh, Tiwa Beach and uh, Double Island Point, just uh, south of Rainbow Beach. I can see the water. Um, this, it is looking very nice. This, this track used to be really soft, um, and now Woody's sitting on the two-way button. But this track used to be really soft, and then they uh, added wood and rubber matting and that for all the bloody BT50 and Ranger drivers. <laughs> Looking at you, Alan. <laughs> Which way, Woody? I oh, can only go one way. Yeah, this has changed heaps since I was last up here. Holy! The ever-shifting sands. As uh, pointed out by some. Uh, observant folk in the comment section we've got exposed filters so mm, you are the comment section you don't want to do that maybe we won't go uh, Keen, Alan? swimming today what i reckon the pajero would make it through this mate no snorkel no worries yeah it's because no one gives a shit about a pajero <laughs> here watch this guy see how deep it is you're not you're not keen are you yeah. no. all right well, that's, that's all good, good. and i don't have any uh dip freezers that's all good so this guy, Aldo. Yeah, I don't know. I know what it's like to bend a rod, so I'm keen. We'll just go park up and I'll drive, I'll drive his car through. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. But you couldn't get through the other side, could you? No. I don't think so. But we'll go and have a look. You know you get crocs over here. They're heading south, bro. The scary thing about crocs is most of them is under the water. So all you can see there is its nose. The rest of it's under the water. It's even the right colour too, that, the camo green. It's not in attack mode though. The holes in crocs, that's well, they... where your dignity leaks out. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this one, she's a beaut. How much dignity have you got left? Oh. <laughs> I guess we'll have to stop and put this in four wheel drive at some point. What's that? Oh, because it's not in four wheel Because it's a four wheel drive and we haven't needed four wheel drive yet. <laughs> we haven't tested it yet. Because we're just using the horsepower to get places. Actually, to get back to old mate from the comment section, it's, it's llama thrust or duck power. Because he was offended that we were using, um, I don't know, Imperial Shriek, Freedom. I want, I want talking metric. Yeah, I want in freedom units isn't cool so we'll convert everything to duck power from now on horsepower is cooler because it's a bigger number no no no, no duck, duck power. power is way bigger i'm okay. like twenty two thousand duck power brother <laughs> like is that this... you is that you or just the car <laughs> Awesome. Hey, we're just up at uh, you know Double Island Point. We're just wondering about the you know tide times on the way home, eh? Yeah, dear tide times. Um, you you watch out. You got that southeasterly swell. And I've seen a couple of cobbers get caught out there, mate. But you be careful. I reckon about one twenty, one twenty-five. Oh yeah. It's going to be peaking. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, you watch you watch your tails, mate. If you're not back by one twenty-five, I've seen some bad shit happen. Really? What what sort of stuff? Oh, I had a couple of young blokes up there, they were in a tinny, and I'm in my fiberglass, I'm in my Bertram, I mean, you can't really stop a Bertram, can you? They're a good thing, but a Mercury, Mercury on the back, she's only a 60, but I tuned her up to an 80, because it's actually the same motor anyway, they just use some laptop or some newfangled thing, and they flash it on, and away it goes, so I had my 80, I got all the way out there, chucked some ropes over these boys' tinny, they didn't get enough fuel, <laughs> they're sitting on the beach with their bloody stupid 4 drives, 
They had a diesel, should have had a petrol. If they had a petrol, they could have put the petrol from the Forby into the boat, but they weren't that bloody intelligent, were they? Yeah, that's, uh, that, that makes a lot of sense, Barry. Yeah, so I towed them on back, and they were all right. I mean, they gave me a couple of, couple of lemon squashes. That was nice. Oh, yeah, you're a good bloke, Barry. Thanks, mate. Sounds like you boys are living, aren't you? Yeah, well, this, this is living, Barry. Oh, mate. Oh, good on you, mate. Well, look, if you get stuck, you know where to get me. Just give me a buzz. I'll bring the old Birdie Bertram out there and give you a bit of a hand, mate. But, I, you know, fuel's getting expensive, so at least chuck me some fuel, not this bloody piss and fucking lemon squash shit those kids drink these days. Oh, righto, mate. Righto, Barry. Oh, all right. I appreciate you, appreciate you, your advice. Thanks, mate. You have a you have a good time, and Oliver. I am a little bit lonely since the gout, so if you want to come over any time, mate, you come over, and we, we we can have a good chat. All right. No worries. We'll do, mate. All right. See you, mate. Bye, mate. Bye. <laughs> what a legend, eh? <laughs> Barry Barry's a good lad. Been around for a while. You heard it here first. Barry has confirmed that we're living and what a spot to be living in. This is absolute paradise. And that's why it probably does get so busy up here. We are, we are here during the weekday, so it is a bit quieter. You can expect to see, last time I was here, there's like 300 cars just lined up here. Someone's got the doof doof going and it gets a bit chaotic at times. So, I don't know, when was the last time you were here, Nathan? What'd you say? Oh, it's been ages for me, um, cause I've been crook, but um, it's been years. Changes, changes every season though with a few high tides and a few storms and whatnot. But oh yeah, for sure, always. Beautiful part of the world. Hell yeah. It's definitely worth noting too that if you do come up, first thing would be don't be a d Second thing is, if you see rubbish, pick it up off the ground. There's so much trash washed up from the ocean. So definitely do your part, pick it up. That's, that's the worst thing about this sort of area and yeah, that's people. So don't be a part of the problem, be a part of making, keeping this beautiful as it should be. Take your rubbish with you, you dickheads. Yeah. Definitely. So we've got an example here. The comment section last week was a bit, um, people were kind of expecting a thousand smoky Nagatas, but that'd be the reason why. And a thousand, uh, one smoky Nagata is 1.8 horsepower. <laughs> You can't make a thousand horsepower out of a stock V12. I think the Hoff would probably be close to the limit of record holder there, like 550 horsepower from the V12. The Hoff is a bit of a wizard on the keyboard though too, so he's definitely... Oh, he's not afraid to push the boundaries as it's well. It's also, it's his motor, so why not? Yeah. The thing about the rods though too is that it's not the thinness of them. Thinness? Thickness? But it's because they're sintered. They're powdered metal. Powdered metal, yeah, that's sintered. it. Sintered, yeah. Yes. So that it's powder that's compressed to form a solid structure, which is a great way of doing it, but they don't bend, they just break if there's a problem, so. It's pretty cool to get out the beach here in the 42 because this has been off the road for... Uh, I took it off the road in about 2010 was when I finally pulled the motor out of it. Um, wow, 13 years, that's... Yeah, yeah, so that was when I... So, I actually, we looked back in time and I did up a bit of a list of all the workshops that it's been through. <laughs> and it went to the Hoff, and the Hoff did me up an exhaust for my twin-turbo blow-through carby 308 monstrosity that I was building at the time. <laughs> for this? For this. Oh, um, my God. And then that's when the V12 became available, and it seemed like a much better idea than the twin-turbo V12 blow-through carby. I think everything's <laughs> everything's a better idea than a blow-through 308. Yeah, so anyway, that's where this that's where this all started. So uh, there's been probably 20 workshops. Um, a few, uh, few in recent times that have helped out, like LCS with the dash. Uh, it's a pretty cool little bit of custom kit. The guys in uh, uh, down south made that up. Is that Laurie? Yeah, Laurie and yeah, the boys. Um, yeah. McKinnon's Cruisers, um, they've done a lot for me over the recent past. Parts and hugs when I've had a bad day. Um, and just the guys in the Classic Land Cruiser, the guys and girls in the Classic Land Cruiser Club. Um, you know, we're all there to help each other and support each other and have a few cool um, weekends away and whatnot. And that's what this thing was built for, to put the family in, put the friends in, come fishing, come to the beach. Um, for sure. Go to cars and coffee. Um, 
yeah, just it's it's not a it's not a rock crawling um, go out in the desert kind of machine. I think that's a good uh, sort of thing to mention that until we came up here, this car was like nothing but an annoyance to me because it was just <laughs> it's just a difficulty. But when you get a car like this and you take it out in the environment that it's meant to be in, all of a sudden it be it becomes something that you're enamoured to like. It should be out here on the beach facing out to this beautiful view. It should have the kids in the back and the wife in the passenger seat and having a great time. And that's what they're for. So take them out of the garage. Don't overdo your commitments about what am I going to do to it. Just get it out there. It doesn't matter if it's branded with a brush. It's cool. Just get it out there and <laughs> have fun. That's the best part about the car, I think, though, too. Yeah, it oh, is. And, and look, the reality is... Um, you know, when we get back to the workshop, I'm going to repaint Al's crown because it's not quite up to my standards. <laughs> so when he's uh, when he's going in for a nap, a nap, a nap after lunch, I'll uh, I'll get in and get that will sorted. He, will you at least use a roller? No brush, brush, bro. Because how you, how what what strand of brush? No, so you go, come on, I don't want to get into this, bro. You go, you go 50, oh my 50 god, turps and uh, and paint from Bunnings. And then you just apply nice, fine coats and then tip it off at the end. Smooth it's strokes. Just, it's, it's all in the rest, Woody. I keep telling you that. So Nathan's a pro <laughs> panel beater, as you can tell. <laughs> now, this thing is, it is a cool car. It is really cool. It does sound good. It performs as expected. It's not crazy horsepower. You don't want that. Four-wheel drive. Does it work? I haven't tested it I think yet. we've used about 4% of the oh. available crazy horsepower. You just don't need it. I've just been in second gear. Just It just works. Along. Um, it's, uh, we didn't, we haven't even put it in four-wheel drive yet, have we? Yeah, we haven't, no. It's been in two-wheel drive all the way up the beach. So we're gonna, we we're gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for following the build. I'm thinking that I might end up at the, um, Classic Land Cruiser Association Wheeling Weekend. Is that what it is? Is that what Claw means? Claw, with two W's. I might go again this year. I'm not too sure, haven't, I've just got it penciled in the diary there. Um. Yeah, but thanks again for Nathan for letting us work on his car and oh. providing some content. It's been a business doing pleasure with you both. And there's obviously some new viewers along because we've got a couple more views on the videos. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and check out the merch store for some merchandise if you would desire a Skid Factory t-shirt. And just remember, cars are for fun and pleasure. If it's not fun, on fun or pleasurable, just park it until it is. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. You know that's illegal, mate? What? A grown man holding a I was just pouring out my... <laughs>
Maybe you were such a professional painter, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I come from a long line of spray painter panel beaters. <laughs> um, as you can tell, the trick with painting a car is you've got to get nice, even brush strokes. Because if you go all... Oh, beep, beep. I can beat that one out. If you go all wonky, people will see the brush strokes. But if you're really, like, smooth, like the car so would be, it... Um, it blends in really nicely. Can you see that colour match there? Oh, that's perfect. It's Nathan, that's bang on, mate. Right? It's spot on. It's the way Bunnings, the girl at Bunnings who sold me the paint, she said, I'm sure this will be a colour match for your car, sir. What about the red? So it previously was red, but then it's been white. Hang on, where's the red? So Inside here, there's the overspray. So what's the go here? So it was beige from the factory. Okay. And then at about 16, I painted it... Um, red and white. Is that for the auto salon days? That was my high school colours. Okay. And then when it went to auto salon with the big stereo in it, uh, obviously it couldn't be like painted with a brush. So we painted it with a brush orange <laughs> because red and white wouldn't have really fit in there. And yeah, it was the, it was the early 2000s. Oh, maybe. so it was red, then it was orange. Yeah, yeah, red and white, then orange. And then it went white because that was the paint that we had. And now it's... Uh, the amount of paint that you have is... <laughs> machinery grey, and it's a gloss finish, which I, I think is the important part. Because, um, you know, if, if you've got a really nice car, it needs to be a gloss Next finish. Next time you bring me something to paint, I'm going to paint your engine parts with a brush. No, you won't, because you don't have the skills, mate. <laughs> you don't have the brush technique. It's all in the wrist. Don't group. flick that onto the bloody... Inlet it's, there. It's all in the wrist. And you can see when I painted it the first time, Alan said it needs to come here all one colour. So I painted it grey. And you can see I've missed a few spots, which, you know, we'll get in over time. Um, it's just the way it is. The, the other thing I find is if you don't do any prep work, this um, fantastic Bunnings paint actually sticks better. Um, I've found that over the years of painting cars with Bunnings paint. So, you know. Follow Nathan for more tips and tricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all in the wrist, mate. It's all in the wrist. You've got to get... If you're watching this, you're probably mad into Land Cruisers. So we've penned a new shirt. Here's the design here. Nick Bro from New Zealand design. Pretty nice. Everybody loves a shorty 40, no matter what sort of silly engine they got in them. So you can grab one from the merch store. Or if you don't like merch, you can just click down here and watch another video or over here and like and subscribe. You're not pointing in the right spot. <laughs>